Steve Young is a Super Bowl MVP, a two-time league MVP, and a Hall of Famer retired in All-American Hero. I'm just really grateful to have a chance you know, to start my family. Young realized his dreams and then became the All-American dad. He caught up with Young and his latest wheels at a football field. You guys trying to make fun of my swagger wagon? Huh? You guys wish, you guys wish you could roll in this thing. 14 cup holders, four AC outlets, total control from the cockpit. At the Menlo School in Northern California, it's senior day for the girls' flag football team. Well, I, honestly, since the first practice, I look forward to it. Young's daughters, Summer and Lila, are part of the first ever varsity girls flag football team in California. Well, the other day, Summer, she's like, I think football is my favorite sport. And I played a lot of sports. <laughs> how much the girls took to playing the game and how it meant to them that instead of saying, I love football because I get to watch it, I love football because I get to play it. It's a completely different thing, and that's what blew me. Could play football. I was encouraged to play football. And here, girls haven't been. Ah, sorry. Nice and smooth, like that, right? That's half. That's that's that I'm talking about. He's not only a dad; he's the assistant coach. He's kind of like our uh, quarterback guru. He kind of like uh, we'll put we'll put in a play, and then he'll always pull the quarterback aside. Now the key is to be able to throw it not so hard, but still bring it down, because you're you're you're. you're your off-speed pitch actually goes like this. Still bring it down, just, you just have to, your hand has to slow down a little bit. He's done a great job with everybody, especially the quarterbacks. Yes. <laughs> that means you care. Hi, my name is uh, John Pay. I'm the head football coach here for uh, Manlo Girls Flag Football Club. John Montana and Steve Young. I love both Steve and Joe. Uh, it was kind of just funny. Both of them would complain to me about their own lack of playing time given to the other guys. So Steve would always complain about all the time that Joe and Joe was complaining about all the reps. Steve was out and I didn't get any reps. We're going to hosted by her parents and mom. When he asked me to call, it was perfect. Go out there with 10 times energy. I am so much fun at it. It was like bringing full circle what I grew up doing. <laughs> okay, first down, first down. Watch the back of the end zone, Summer. Look at the back of the end zone. Shake, shake, shake. Honestly, all my friends have come to me like, that is the best coach I've ever had. And I think it's just because he's so. Supportive. Nice try, too, Terry. Whenever you have a big game, the first completion, yeah, just yeah, to yeah. get a good feel. Yeah. And does it make it feel like they made a mistake that like lost the game? Man, you guys rose to the occasion. Every time we needed the ball back, you gave it back to us. Keep running, keep running, keep running. There you go. Coaching was something I didn't think I'd, I, I loved playing. I love talking about it. I love commenting about it. But I never thought I'd seriously coach. And this is the perfect thing. <laughs> Nick Bosa. For I get to teach the basics of football, the love that they have for the game, and it really took me in. Lila, you're the throwback, remember? Remember, trip, trip, Lila, come down. But now we just get to spend more time together. We were, it was so unexpected that we just got to yeah. play in a season together. It's so yeah. lucky. But it's so fun how our whole family like so invested in it. That's Lila. Yeah. Their mom is very competitive. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> when the girls started football, I was like, we have got to be great. So if you're going there and come you better get it right now. And I'm like, right, honey, I've got this figured out. All right, yeah, you know the place. The competitive genes run strong in the young family. At the beginning of the season, there was a lot of uh, talk coming from He's faster than me. We had and we had a race, first practice, okay. and I beat you. No, first practice. <laughs> then we had another race, beat her. Yeah, okay, whatever. 
a one win on me. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to her that rest of the day. I was so mad. I get home and I get home later than them and I'm knocking on the door because it's locked and my mom comes, opens the door, she goes, sorry, we don't let second place in. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> Despite their differences, they chose the same position. We're both wide receivers, yeah. opposites. Yeah, but what position? What do you mean? You're Next a and oh, Z. See, that's Z. old school West Coast offense. <laughs> Jerry Rice and John Taylor, and that's how we roll. One day, Lila was saying, "This doesn't get many passes." Like, go talk to John Taylor. He had the same. He complained about it the same way. <laughs> Rice is out there. Touchdown, 49ers! <laughs> The young receivers are well-versed in 49ers history, especially their father's most memorable plays. There's one where he's like, well, there's a lot, but there's one where he's just like getting through everyone, and he's like stumbling over, and he finally gets yeah. to the end zone. And the one where and the one where your helmet fell off and you kept on playing. Oh, That's right. the one I like. And there's one where he's on defense, I think. Or no, no, I threw an interception. You threw an interception. Okay, you threw an interception, yeah. and then he back, Super Deion Sanders. Tackling of yeah, all the things I've ever done in my whole life, of all I've done in my whole life, it's like they're excited because I did Dion. She didn't realize it was off of interception. I'd no, I forgot that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you came back, though. No, I'm stubborn. Hey, hey, hold on. Remember, remember, the, 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 the smash people have to get in the way of the rusher. You've got to get in the way of the rusher. You can't let that rusher get Ava. What was amazing about the girls is uh, one day I was explaining to you, you could go on different snap counts. On one, ready? On three, ready? You know, you go on one or two or three. On three, ready? And they're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And the amazing thing is, when they did it, the girls never flinched. A quick count got them moving, that's good. I spent 15 years trying to get my guys to go on two. Hard count, right. hard count. All right, hard count, hard count. Everyone hearing me? You know, we'd break the huddle on two, remind each other on two, remember two, two, and then we'd, so like. What happened? Girls? Get it? They get it. They're comfortable. They listen, and they have a ton of fun. <laughs> I have enjoyed watching their. Oh my gosh! This is my Bill Walsh moment. This is either genius or disaster. Uh oh no, we're in trouble. Oh, it worked. And honestly, I can't overstate what it felt like for them to be included in America's game. I just, I got to play it, loved it, guided my life in so many ways, lessons of my life. I never really thought about what a gift it was to be able to play the game in a way that others couldn't play. And now that gift, I can be a part of giving it to my girls. What was with the circus catch, girlfriend? Oh, get that! <laughs> thank you, thank you. For <laughs> like actually, actually. All of a sudden this illusion of football back in my life for me is pretty dramatic.